Hello Travelers, Tara here, uh, and this is going to be a quick open reading. Uh, you guys have been giving me a work out. Those of you who got the uh, 20 for 20 readings, um, I'm getting all of these uh, emails in. You guys are telling me how accurate I was or I wasn't, where I missed some things. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for that because it helps me to become a better reader. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, let's just get into the reading. Um, I got some changes coming up for you website members. Um, moving into the new year. So keep your eye open for the uh, on the newsletter. For those of you who are not members, but you want to get in the newsletter, the newsletter is free. Um, you can go over to the website and sign up for it. Um, I hope you guys will come join me this year. Uh, I gotta be, y'all have given me a whole new perspective on things. I'm gonna have to up my game. Um, so you can click on the little eye right there in the corner of the video, and that will take you directly over to the website. Everything you need to know about booking a reading, and I'm going to be changing the way I do readings. So keep your eyes open for that. You're going to come back to the website one day and it's going to be something totally different. So um, that's that. Anyway, I, I just wanted to um, open the cards for you guys. I hope everybody had a good holiday season. Um, we're just a few days into uh, the last of 2017. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready <laughs> for 2017 to be gone. But it went by fast, and then suddenly that Mercury retrograde hit, and it just seemed like everything came to a standstill. So, um, not funny. The perception of time, and the truth of the matter is, is that uh, there is no time. That's that's a that's a, a human construct. But anyway. Um, Let's just lay the cards and see what the uh, messages are. Uh, this is a general reading, so they will not resonate with everyone. Um, in order to gain any clarity into your situation, does require a personal reading. And in that personal reading, I um, meditate on your birthday and the birth dates of anybody you want to include in the readings and your names, and that helps me to pinpoint you in the collective, and then I can I can lay the cards. Um, my turnaround time is, you know, 48 to 72 hours. I don't like for people to wait. Um, sometimes you need an answer right away. <clears throat> All right, let's lay the nine cards and see what the cards have to say. I'm going to give it one more rifle. Here we go. Nine cards down. Four of swords. Oh, you can't even see. Four of swords. Hold on there. I, I was doing some uh, other kind of work here on the table, so that's why you see kind of set up like that. There's the four of swords. Wow. There's the eight of swords. There's the two of cups. The three of swords. Wow, the Ten of Swords. Woo, that's a lot of sword energy. There's the Fool card. There's the Six of Pentacles. Here is the Eight of Wands. And there is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Underneath the deck, the Two of Swords. Now, there are, there's only one major arcana card here, and that is the Fool card. The Fool card is, in some decks, uh, the first card in, he's the number zero. Um, and in other decks, he's put at the very back, right? He's after the world card. He comes at the end. But what is zero? But the, but the zero added or multiplied, you know, any number by itself is that number, right? So zero is the absence of, but it is also the inclusion of everything, right? It also uh, rules, you know, I've got a book someplace that there's another planet 
energy that that the fool card brings but it typically represents uranus uranus is ruled by aquarius aquarius is the sign of brotherhood and sisterhood uh the community um the fool card represents um a new beginning uh it represents the uh opening of doors it represents a new journey for some of you this could literally be taking a journey um it represents naivete or, or that um looking at a situation or looking at the world uh through new eyes it can also be that energy of being um foolish reckless and naive people being able to take advantage of you but what this says to me this one no matter what cards are here having just the only the one major arcana says that you are in control of this okay but i see for some of you you just you don't see it i'm looking at these ugly swords now look you'll hear well i don't know if you will or you won't but basically whenever you see swords cards they can indicate some kind of conflict in other words what you believe or what you think or what you're being shown or what you're being told or what you're seeing uh gives you some kind of pause right because basically that's what swords are swords represent the idea or the concept of thoughts belief perceptions ideas communication okay i only have the one cup card here the two of cups and what i'm looking at for some of you out there is this right in the center is this ten of swords this is i am at rock bottom i honestly can't go on another minute like this um it is the concept or the idea that um you've been stabbed in the back and not only somebody stabbed you in the back the way they did it uh was like an overkill right it only take one sword to kill some damn body why are you gonna put 10 in somebody's back <laughs> okay now past present future past present future the other thing about this 10 and what i like to see even though i'm looking at these ugly swords cards here what i like to see is the fact that the fool follows this card because the fool tells you look at that dark is before the dawn you see that yellow and then suddenly everything is clear to you in the, the bright light of day and that's going to give you the opportunity to move to a different level okay the, the um, major arcana cards are, are spiritual lessons. And this is showing me that regardless of what has happened with you, you will recover from this and you're going to um, eventually get to a place where you're going to be a new person. You're going to have new experiences. You're going to go to a new journey. You're going to have um, a, a new way of looking at things, approaching things from a fresh perspective. But that's not possible because it wouldn't have been possible had you not experienced this Ten of Swords. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. You know that old crap where you hear people say, everything happens for a reason. Nobody wants to hear that when we're going through it. But there's truth in that, right? So Four of Swords, Eight of Swords. Some of you are in a position or have been in a position or will be in a position because this may be playing out coming into January of being uh, of taking a break from something of trying to remove yourself from a situation and give yourself some kind of mental space to think about something for some of you this could literally be disappearing off the scene okay but it's really about taking that time out to contemplate some things for yourself right and what has been contemplated is this uh, betrayal and this loss uh, this does read like there is a breakup or a divorce or a separation or you just found out that the person you you are in love with in a supposedly rem committed relationship with um, has betrayed you in some way or at least broken your heart in a way. The reason why I say it's a third party in this picture 
is because I'm looking at these three people in this. Sometimes this card shows up like the player, okay? But basically what that card is about, uh, it's about two things. The Six of Pentacles is about the balance of give and take, right? So maybe you've been doing all the giving in the relationship and the other person's been doing all of the taking, right? But this could also be the concept or the idea that that person and the reason why you're not getting anything, the reason they're not giving you anything is because they're giving it to someone else. And it's also a coins card and coins represent not just finances. Uh, you can find out that, you know, your partner's been spending money on somebody else. Maybe they've been spending money online, doing online porn. What do I know? But this is also the energy of and, and you see, there's more than one way to cheat. OK, it's not just sexually having a relationship with outside of your relationship, if that's not what you're into. OK, but there's financial cheating, there's emotional cheating, there's uh, mental cheating, there's all kinds of ways to cheat people. So this is also the concept or the idea of doing something. So what we see is somebody physically actually giving one person everything and ignoring the other person. And therefore, there is an imbalance here. Some of you. Um, are blind to that fact in the sense that we see this two of cups over on the other side. I don't know if I'm going to get back to this relationship. I don't know if, if I can trust that person again. I don't know if um, this could even be the concept or the idea that you don't even know that the person is in another relationship with somebody else. You sense it, but you're not sure. So because you're not sure, you don't do anything about it. You don't broach the subject. You don't communicate what it is that you're thinking. Okay. You don't express your beliefs and your ideas. Remember swords. Okay. It's almost like you're saying, well, I'm just going to step back and let the chips fall where they may. Eventually, you know, I'm going to, the truth will come out. Well, maybe, maybe not. Right. But this says if you're stuck in a situation um, the only person that's keeping you stuck there is yourself. So if you're in a bad relationship or a relationship where someone's been constantly cheating on you, um, doing things behind your back, whether they've been hiding money, stealing money, gambling, whether they've been doing online porn, whether they've been drinking, whether they, whatever the case may be, whatever that these swords represent for you. Um, it's telling me that for some of you, there is a heartache coming. There is some sorrow and some loss and it is going to hurt like hell, but you're not going to be able to get to this space without experiencing this. You know, Shakespeare has a saying, it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Why do I say that? Because in going through this, even though you may not see that right now in going through this, what it's doing is it's showing you about the balance. You see, people who um, take from you all the time are not people you're supposed to have in your life, okay? You can make excuses for them. You can turn a blind eye to them. But then why are you disappointed when, uh, why are you hurt when the shit falls apart, right? You know what their character's like. They've been showing you who they were. Maya Angelou has a saying, when people show you who, you, who they are, believe them. Now, for many of you, we see that this news is coming into the family. This is the family card. This is a tradition card. This is about groups of people who've been together for long periods of time. For some of you, this may have been about finding this news out and then having to go visit your family for the holidays, right? Do I tell them or do I not tell them? I don't know what to do. There's a two of swords. You know, maybe I'm imagining the whole thing. Look, um, if your intuition is telling you that something is wrong, listen to it. it it's not going to steer you wrong. Now, for certain, some of you, because I have the two eights here, are going to get news that's going to affect the relationship. Now, on the off chance, this could be some of you who have been in a secret affair with somebody and then you finally get the news that they're going to go ahead and leave that partner. For others of you, this is going to be on the other side where you've been in a marriage and you're going to find out there's a secret affair and now all of a sudden you got a decision to make about whether or not, you know, are, am I going to stay in this or am I going to, you know, how is it going to affect my family? 
because this is Uranus. This is a sudden change, but it's a sudden change to liberate you from a situation. If you've been foolish and naive, that's going to come to light for you, right? But even still, it's saying that you can get yourself out of that negative situation. You just have to be willing to trust in the universe that if it's time for you to leave, then it's time for you to leave. Why? Because you need to be finding the balance. You need somebody who's going to treat you fairly and right and respect you and honor you and cherish you. And if you can't find somebody to do that for you, then you do it for yourself. Okay? Some of you, I think, are really uh, trying to avoid this coming. But this card tells me that it's going to happen very soon. This may even be the concept or the idea of finding out that your lover or your partner has been cheating while he's been on a business trip. Maybe you find out through the credit card um, bill. And what does that do? That affects the family. And there's news, most definitely, some event coming in that's going to affect the family. We see it here. You know, I've had to take myself out of this situation, but the truth of the matter is that it's over. But here is the family card, the Ten of Pentacles. That's our, our, our Mercury and Capricorn. This could be um, the concept or the idea of, of, of finances coming up around the family. Now, for some of you, we can see that not only is this maybe you're, you're being foolish and this is showing you a new, brand new relationship coming, it's also saying this is a, a brand new opportunity for you to reset things within the family. Look, Two of Cups, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Whatever this thing is, it's going to change the family dynamic. And how is that going? To, it's going to, to occur by you taking some time out to think seriously about what's happening for you and deciding whether you're going to continue to be foolish or whether you're going to have trust and faith in the universe to set out on something new so that you can regain the balance. Okay? Because sometimes this card is also about charity and financial flow and give back. But nevertheless, money equates to value. Uh, the second house of Taurus rules your personal finances, but also your self-esteem, self self-value, and self-worth. And right now, there's a, a lot of confusion about what you should do. Look at this. Two of cups, ten of swords, and then the six of pentacles. And, and this line could just be simply about recognizing that that shit's over and you gotta, we've got to split up the, the property. We've got to split up the money. You know, we've got to, I've got to hurry up and move. I've got to get my finances straight so that I can um, uh, keep the family whole and intact while we go through this. This is a very odd reading. Um, and this is a 10. And so the 10 is telling you there's two 10s here. Now, for some of you, the two tens represent the concept or the idea of um, it's the end of a relationship or the phase in a relationship. But this can also be speaking to um, a uh, career change for the better. Here we see it. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Right? Maybe some of you are thinking about leaving a relationship behind because you've gotten a new job opportunity or you're going to have to leave the job behind because of a new job opportunity. And so this may not be the idea or the concept of somebody cheating, but just the fact that you this relationship, it's the end of the relationship, not because things were bad, but because one of you have had to move on in, in a career or a, a financial sense. In which case, looking at this vertical future line, this tells you that there's a new opportunity for you. The Two of Cups is not always just about romance and love. It's about any kind of partnership in which there is a balance. And we've got these two cups and these scales on the opposite ends of each other. Giving up one type of, of balance for another type of balance. Maybe this is somebody um, breaking up with you or you breaking up with someone because their finances are jacked. Something occurred unexpectedly that really was very damaging in some way. Maybe this is a financial loss. Uranus does that. Somebody gambled and speculated. They took a risk and it didn't pay off for them well. Okay? 
So this could play out in many, many ways. The bottom line is with this Two of Swords energy over the top, it tells me that some of you really, you're either afraid to make the decision because you don't, you feel you don't have all of the information or you sense that somebody's lying to you about what they're telling you. That the truth of this situation has not been revealed yet. Right? The two tens say that, it, it, you know, it's, 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 it's going, it's, it, it, this, whatever this is, it has to end. Three of swords. Well, this is the breakup of a family. Somebody's sensitivity changing about the family. This is some loss associated with, with family. This Grazia, there's a tower card. Remember I was talking about that Uranus energy? The tower energy. Here is the uh, Lecherezza, the lightness of being, somebody's sensibilities, their, their tact, and their diplomacy. Here we have the Alegria, family and friends card. A sacrifice. A lot of times I read the Three of Swords like a sacrifice. It's a necessary sacrifice. It's something that is so has become so untenable for you that you have a choice in how you're going to move through this. Do you mourn it? Of course you mourn it. Okay? But only you can keep yourself stuck where you are. You have control over this. Let's look at these. I'm going to pull three cards on both the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords together. And then I'm going to look at this Eight of Wands here and see what they tell me. Right down the center, because for some of you, this is where you are. There's no Nine of Swords, so whatever the anxiety or the fear or the nightmare is, it's not that. It's, I think some of you don't want this to end. You don't see an ending to it, maybe, perhaps. Sometimes this Ten of Swords can be some kind of legal issue, and this represents the energy of Saturn and Libra. So this is things being on hold as they relate to property and money. But it, it reads almost like somebody's going into partnership. They're, they're, they're getting a new partnership in some way, shape, or form. A new family. Remember I said you could find out that somebody took a trip and, 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 and maybe they you find out that they cheated on the trip or they did something they... There's a discovery, the letterato. This is the discovery card. That's what it means. The viaggio, the, the business trip or the visit. And the depression, the melancholia. This also could read about the discovery that somebody's about to leave. Whether they leave for business or whether they leave because it's the end of the relationship. But it, either way, it's the ending of a phase and, a re, and or a relationship. Well, three cards on the, I'm going to pull three cards across this whole bottom row. This is our future. <coughs> um, and because this is a 10, this tells me that this, this family unit thing is, is leaving. It's going to turn into something new. That's our energy going out. For some of you, it's going to come quite suddenly. This is Mercury and Sagittarius. Uh, and we know that he won't get back up to speed till January 10th. The two tens. That's exactly what that's telling me. I forget what card this is. This is a Taurus card. This is a, a Virgo card. Mercury and Virgo. It's about the fine details. It reads like a uh, property, dividing up the property. The news coming, the man wants to be single or he's leaving or he's walking away, but he could also, this could also be a counselor person and going, okay, well, I, I accept that offer. Here's what I have to offer you. I'm not too particularly thrilled about it, but, and I, I do sense that this is, um,
a male energy. Because <clears throat> even the, the, the swords can be viewed as a somewhat phallic symbol. It's piercing and thrusting. It's a masculine principle. There's that one cup. Or somebody saying, okay, look, I'm going to have to give X, Y, and Z up to, to move through this. But a lot of you really are in a position where you don't know what's true and what's not true. And all I can say to you is whatever your intuition is telling you, trust it. You get readings to confirm things that you already know. Confirmation. That's my tagline. Discover, confirm, empower. By getting getting the confirmation that you need, it can put you in a position to make decisions that are going to empower you in some way. And that's what I have for you. I hope those messages helped. Till next time. Namaste.